here is how they will line up. Starting on the pole, driving the number 84 from Fairfield, Connecticut, it is Ed Giles. Outside of him in the number nine from Mystic, Connecticut, it is Thomas Rasica. Inside row number two, driving the 93 from Coventry, Rhode Island, Performance Plus, Petschke Motorsports Sports are the sponsor of Clay Petschke. Going off in position number four, driving the 86, that is East Haven, Connecticut's Bill Gurch. Starting in position number five, driving the 52 from New Haven, Connecticut, it's Al Stone III. Something's fishy bait and tackle. East Coast Race Engines are his sponsors. Going off in position six will be the number six. That is Hope Valley, Rhode Island's Richard Staskowski in the Carpenter's Local number 94. Starting from position number seven, driving the 80, that is Norm Root Jr. from Old Saber, Connecticut, Roots Auto Repair and Paul Burdick Oil Company are his sponsors. From position number eight will be the 38, that is Joe Curioso III from Pawkatuck, Connecticut. Then in position number nine, starting from position number nine, we'll have the 79, Stanford, Connecticut's Jim Procassini, Rings and Lumber, and Lewis Lunch are the sponsors of that machine. Going off from position number 10, the man who has been perfect so far this year, two for two, and he looks to make it three for three in feature event wins, it is Ledyard, Connecticut's Dwayne Dorr. From position number 11 will be the 67, that is Mark Foley from Plantsville, Connecticut, Ace Oil Company, Al Joy Tire Company are his sponsors. From position 12 will be the 43, that is John Puglisi from Orange, Connecticut, Critical Signs, LaJoy Auto Parts, and East Coast Race are the sponsors of that car. From position 13 will be the number 99, that is Joe Bavalaco from Stamford, Connecticut. And starting next to him, driving the number 10, will be Daryl Carlson from Chester, Connecticut, D. Carlson Lawn Care, A.A. Zanardi Paving, and West Main Service are the sponsors of that machine. From position number 15 will be the 85, that is Greg Butler from East Hampton, Connecticut, East Hampton Auto Parts and Forces of Nature. And then will come the 18, that is Joshua Galvin of Gales Ferry, Connecticut, GHI Roofing and Siding are the sponsors of that machine. From the 17th starting spot will be Double O Joe. It's Joe Nojik from Bristol, Connecticut. Starting 18th on our field will be the number 14. That is Joe Berthelet from Clinton, Connecticut. And rounding out the field, starting scratch in the, number nine, in the 19th position will be the number 12. That is Kevin Williams from Wyoming, Rhode Island. So 19 cars will do 20 laps in our the second row as we look ready to go green for the Sportsman Feature event. 20 laps distance, green flag in the air from Chad Williams. It is Ed Giles in the 84, takes the early lead as Rasikov falls back. Now he is under siege by the 93 of Petschke as they go down the backstretch. Boy, Rasikov never came up to speed. A man who did was Clay Petschke in car number 93. He's being pounded by Al Stone III going for his second career win. And Norm Rood is in the mix in car number 80. Uh, smoke coming from one of the cars. As they go down the backstretch, it is still Ed Giles holding the lead is on the outside. It is Petschke to the inside holding on that second spot. We have the double zero of Joe Nojic pulling off in front of the field. And now Petschke has completed the pass and takes the lead as they go into turn number one. But the man to keep an eye on is Al Stone the third in car number 52 as he just thunders underneath Ed Giles to uh, assert himself into second. Also, Norm Root is on the attack, and Jim Procassini in car number 79 has romped into the number four position. And the man who has won both feature events this season has moved himself into the top five. That is Dwayne Dorr. But back up in the front, it is Petschke, under siege by the 52 of Al Stone, the 80 of Root, as they come off turn four. Now, Dwayne Dorr, with 27 career victories, puts his car underneath the 79. Procassini did a good job of closing the door on the 15 car. So Dorr is going to have to try it again. Al Stone moving to the front of the field. So a new face in first place, and it belongs to Al Stone the third. Stone noses himself out in the first place run, and now the 80 of Norm Root follows suit, locking the 93 to the outside. Here comes Procassini. He grabs the third spot. But Petschke is right there on his back bumper as they go into turn three. So Procassini has some flair tonight. A little trouble for Petschke as he goes into the twilight zone outside of turn number four is able to bring it back. Rasikot, meanwhile, is holding off 
Bill Gersh in car number 86. Side by side, Bonanza for third. Here comes Door underneath Procasini, and Dwayne Door has floored his way into third place. So uh, perhaps the uh, biggest set of wheels right now as Rasikot gets turned around in turn number four, and we are going to have our first goal. Root does. Could it be Root and Door babbling again for the third straight race? Green is out and out in front into the rear air is Al Stone the third. Stone takes the early jump now. Here comes Door on the inside as Norm Root has been locked on the outside. Door makes the move and takes the pass. He will take the lead as they go down the backstretch. Trouble between Norm Root and Jim Procasini. Root backs into the wall. Yellow out. And then a contact as Galvin nudges a man who did have the lead for the first eight laps, Al Stone. So uh, a double whammy, trouble in uh, the middle of the turn between Procasini and Root, who just uh, backed that car into the wall and uh, Procasini got tangled up in it. Then a little skirmish as uh, Stone got loose and uh, Galvin got into him. Okay, but extensive damage to the Root auto repair machine. Back upstairs, guys. Green flag is back out. Look at Dwayne Door go to work on the outside as he is like a laser beam that moves into the front. So Dwayne Door. Waste no time in getting to the top spot. Door continues to make his luck hold as, as it has for 2006. Skirmish in the turn, and uh, one car is slammed. As, uh, that was the 83 car, which really got jolted. The yellow comes out. So kind of vicious contact as uh, Petschke really got nailed in turn number four. So those cars the last 10 years, and anybody at the bowl as the green flag comes out, and Dwayne Doerr reestablishes himself in the lead. Doerr powers himself out to the lead, and now Al Stone has a battle on his hands as the 86 of Billy Gersh is on the inside, and right behind Gersh is the 38. That is Joe Curioso. Then it is Richard Staskowski behind him in the white number six car. John Puglisi is in the hunt in the 43. The question is, can Al Stone the third keep his car in contention on the outside groove? And it looks like he's doing a good job of that as he battles tooth and nail with the 86 of Billy Gersh. He's all over him like barbed wire on the top of a fence. And this time by it is halfway through tonight's feature event. It is the 86 of Billy Gersh. He runs in the second spot. Now Curioso looks to take that third spot away from the 52 of Stone down the back. So he edges himself out front as they go through turns three and four. Staskowski making a muscle move. Not enough there that time. Puglisi continues to be a factor as Tom Rassicott, he spins in turn four. He is being urged on by Chad Williams, telling him to keep it moving, and he will, as we will stay under green, and Dwayne Doerr will stay in the lead. Or we did have from Joe Curioso. Now he gets it up to speed, and we're back underway. Doerr jettisons himself out to the early lead as they go down into turn one, but now it is Bill Gersh right on his back bumper as Doerr looks to pull away on the back stretch, but Gersh is under siege by the 38 of Curioso. Curioso hanging on like a bumper sticker in third place. In fourth, Staskowski trying to use his inside position to burrow under the 52 of Al Stone. He does. Puglisi, man on the move in car number 52, but he had to back off because Al Stone went back on the bottom groove, and that enabled Jim Procasini in car number 79 to make a run. So Procasini, we wrote his obituary a few laps ago, and now he has come back to life. Procasini had a run on Stone on the outside. He had to fall back a bit. That allows Puglisi on the inside to make a move on Procasini as they're down the backstretch. As now it is Puglisi on the inside, and Procasini locked on that outside line. So a good comeback by Procasini. Ed Giles and now Joe Berthelay moving underneath Mark Patrick Foley. But the two cars have pulled away from the rest of the field. Bill Gersh, his biggest moment took place last year when he won the long distance 50 lap feature on Pepsi 300 weekend. He is trying to torment the 15 down to the final five laps. It is the 15 of Dwayne Doerr. He got a little bit of a look from Gersh as they came off the last time on turn number four. But Doerr has opened up a two car length lead. Gersh slides a little bit through turn number four. That allows Doerr to get a better run as he moves in on the lap car of Galvin as they go through turn number one. So Bill Gersh has something else to worry about. And the thorn in his side right now is the 38 of Curioso. Richard Staskowski trying to hold on to a top five finish. He is in fourth. And right behind him is Stone. 
all by his lonesome at the front of the field. Now Dwayne Doerr is starting to pull away from Bill Gersh. And uh, all it appears that if uh, Dwayne Doerr can keep that car in one piece, he will have the sportsman hat trick. But it's not going to be easy. It's not like football where he can just go on one knee and run out the clock. He's got to go the final two circuits. He has to finish out those final two laps. He is just a lap and a half away as he roars down the backstretch with a three car length lead on the 86 of Billy Gersh. Running in third is the 38 of Curioso. Then we'll fall back to the six of Staskowski. Then we have Al Stone and Jim Procassini battling it out for positions five and six. Now just less than half a lap to go for Dwayne Doerr to make it three in a row as he goes down the backstretch. The car made his run tonight here at the Speed Bowl. It will be three in a row for the 15 of Dwayne Doerr as he crosses the line. Then the 86 of Billy Gersh runs second, the 38 of Joe Curioso third, the six of Richard Staskowski is fourth, and in fifth, the 15. traditional finishing kick by the driver of car number 15. Tonight his 28th career victory here at the Waterford Speed Bowl and Bill Gersh giving him the high five so a pretty good sportsmanlike gesture on behalf of Bill Gersh and looked like a Bill might have an answer for Dwayne Doerr but that was not to be the case so 28 career wins Three consecutive wins to start the season. The Sports Bowl, the, the Speed Bowl has become the house of door. Here he is, Dwayne Door. <laughs> he said he can't swallow, but he sure can drive, can he? Tenth position to the lead in only eight laps. Uh, how were you able to get to uh, make up so much ground so quickly? I think a lot of it was luck. I. Uh... There was there was that restart and we come out we go into turn one everybody gets sideways we come out and half the cars are gone so I mean somebody it was kind of handed to us tonight but we're here to break all the records three in a row we got to get four in a row to beat Coates's we got to beat seven to beat Eddie Gertz's total um, we're just gonna try to break all these records before I'm done racing. So not only are you trying to win races this year you're trying to write your name into the Speed Bowl history book. Yeah, man, I, I got I got some really awesome people that help me. Uh, Alan B. Cool is always there at the last minute when I need him to letter my car. He's always there. Al Cool, thank you for coming tonight. Um, I got to thank my sponsors, right? I got uh, Fast Freddy's Independent Recycling. If you got any metal laying around your yard, he'll come get it for you. Um, uh, Larry's Motors, man, that Espinosa guy, he really knows how to build some horsepower. And, the motor does kill it burnouts afterwards. Uh, I noticed. <laughs> uh, Diaz Contracting, Churchill Builders. Alan Eastman, my crew. Scotty, Mark. Man, everybody that helps. We're having a really great year, and I hope we can keep doing this. Thank you. Well, it's been a team effort, and here's the captain of the team, Dwayne Doerr, three in a row. Come to the Speed Bowl next Saturday night to see if Dwayne Doerr can win four in a row.